Mike Test, Mr. Mike Test. Your cat is in the yard meowing. Please wrangle your cat, Mr. Mike Test. Mike Test, Mike Test. Cat must be in the box then. Yes, Schrodinger's cat. Oh, no. All right, let's, um, let's do the transition end thing. Is it working? Is, is the thing working? Let's try a new thing tonight. I got a new camera set up, y'all. Everything sounds all right. Music levels sound okay. I think they're okay at least. My YouTube's just closed itself on this device over here. Let me deal with that for a second. All right, that looks okay. This is a little swiveled. All right, let's see if we can't make this happen tonight. All right, gonna pop off this headset. Hanging on the rack. Put these on. Get into position and let's take a peek. Let's take a peek and see if things are working all right over here. Uh, I picked up a new uh, a new mic arm, a new or mic arm. I picked up a a second articulated arm for this camera right here. I guess it is kind of in the shot right here. Wait, no. There's one right here and then there's one right here just off off screen. Uh, howdy y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome to the paint stream. I hope y'all are doing fantastic this evening. See, we've already got a whole bunch of people in here. Thank y'all so much for coming in and checking out this episode of the paint stream here in Country Fried Minis. I'm your host Cameron, presented on behalf of Country Fried Minis from the Bullshit Corner 2.0. We're going to do a little painting tonight. Um, I did kind of promise that we'd be doing the all about oils episode but i am a lazy piece of garbage i am a lazy piece of garbage y'all and i did no prep for it so i'm gonna have to grind through those tomorrow um i think instead of doing a paint stream or an oil stream i think we're gonna start a um country fried minis or country fried basics episodic and and doing all about like a full episode on all about oils um not sure exactly we're gonna when we're gonna get to that but i was discussing that with um with a subscriber recently and it seems like a really good idea so we're gonna do that oil stuff is coming but tonight uh due to a combination of being ill prepared and also um that it's the sexy day uh, I've got this here, um, damn, I can't remember the name of the, the producer that does this. Got this little, uh, little tiny, um, dwarven lass with, uh, <laughs> uh, large assets that we're going to, uh, paint up that we're going to work on tonight. I think the focus looks uh, kind of dialed in. I haven't messed with it since last one, but anyhow, let's, uh, before we get rolling too far, Artisan Guild, thank you. It is in the description down below if you want to get your hands on it. Uh, they have some other fun stuff. Before we get too far in, we got some, uh, some things to run right here. Can't subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the subscription, Keldob. 
Focus is the worst I've ever seen it. I don't know if you're gaslighting me or not. Fifty yen has been in the Jelly Biscuits for six months. Thank you for half a year of channel membership, 50 yen. This is so well appreciated. She got huge tracks of land. Yeah, exactly. You'll just torture me with your oily boy promises. No, it, it's coming. I think it's really important. I love your idea of um, touching on uh, the application, the mixing, the application, and removal. Uh, I'm just a negligent piece of piece of garbage. That's that's all there is to it. Uh, and unfortunately, that is the truth. Um, so no excuses. I just suck. All right, let's see if this focus towel helps. This contrast towel helps. I mean, we're gonna be uh, airbrushing this last to start out with anyways. I'm trying to adjust to where I'm gonna be doing this. So I got the second camera here. I think this is gonna be for like the palette. So we got some colors that we're working on. I can adjust it a bit. Can't aim, aim it too far else I'm just shining it right at my mech balls. Uh, so we got our 3D print here. This is the scale it, it prints and default in. I printed it before in a smaller, er, in a larger scale, but um, this one should be fun to work with in this scale. And then I've got this secret weapon base that I've been waiting to, to do something with. And it seems just right. Just right for a little lady. Anyhow, let's get into it. And uh, to do that, I'm going to need a few things. Let's airbrush this lady first. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take this off for a second. Put on my mask. Do this first. Put on a respirator. Slap on the headphones. Y'all should still be able to hear me. Hey there, uh, Howie Kotaki's 241. Oh. It's so thick. It's so thick. Comstar Knight 36 donated a four dollars and ninety nine cents super chat. My first cannon goes the street. Good lord, that was ridiculous. Oh my god. Uh, thank you for the generous donation, Comstar Knight. That was uh, intense. Okay, so. <laughs> Fucking hell. Let's get out our spray base. I can angle this, maybe. Let's get out our spray base here. I think we might ought to try mucking with the, uh, the zoom here a little bit. Uh, how do I do this? Right here. Let's zoom this in. Let me just zoom you all the way in. Do that. Okay, so we got our clean water. We got our dirty water. We're cleaning our dirty. We got our spray out pot. Right here, we got our needle for the machine. I took the, I cleaned it and took the needle out this time. So straight, yeah, exactly. Sorry about that camera. No, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, that one was good. That one was really good. I wonder how many other abbreviations work. That is a great question. Okay, so I'm ahead of myself here. I'm a little bit ahead of myself, I'm realizing. We need to 
uh, glue her onto this base here. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna glue her on this base because I'm gonna film this. I'm gonna film this tonight. What the hell is that? What a big old. What the fuck is that? Gross is what that is. Something grody off the bottom of my uh, my paint oh, container there. I've lost the needle to my airbrush. In my confused state. Nope, there it is. Okay. Woo. All right. So we actually need to we need to glue this last to her base and film talking about it. I think that thing closed itself in. And I think we're going to pick out a really lewd... We're going to pick out a really lewd um, uh, sticker for our guest palette. Let's see here. Let's see how offensive we can go with it. Let's see. What are we looking for? We're looking for offensive, right? Just full on offensive. Some of these are just too much. Oh no, that's it. That's it right there, right? Like, this is it, 100%. Is there any, is there any question that this is the sticker that we're using for, um, for tonight's uh, guest pad. Yeah, it's, it's got to be that one, right? These are fucking offensive. I, I've told the story of how I've ended up with these. Um, and uh, that one is just straight topless. <laughs> that one is just straight topless. Okay. Excellent. Great. Great stuff. Quite wonderful. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, there we go. We're pushing it into places Country Fried Minis was never meant to go with these outrageous stickers. And we're just gonna own it. Nope, just gives me secondhand embarrassment just looking at it. Yeah, that one's pretty bad, right? That's pretty fucking bad. That's our guest palette tonight. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes, it is. This is what we're doing. This is where we live. Okay. Let's sit that to the side for a second. Um, not really angled proper. Okay. So we got our uh, ridiculous pinup model. We got our base. We got our little palette thing. We're going to film this. <laughs> life me, life me, street, street, street. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, these things are fucking awful. Quite awful. But, uh, I guess I could repeat the story. For those of you who don't know about it. Basically. I spent, um, I spent COVID with my parents back east in Tennessee. Um, hanging out with them, uh, helping them out. And there's this Amazon Returns store. This Amazon Returns store in my, uh, in my hometown. I don't know if it's still open, but at the time it was open. And uh, my mom would take the kids, my sister's kids, over there. Um, to pick up things at this Amazon returns place, which had like, you know, you buy a whole bunch of little items for, for a dollar each, two dollars each, depending on the day. And one of the things that kept showing up again and again and again, and again and again and again in the, um, in the Amazon returns were these stickers, these packs of stickers. And, uh, among these stickers were these lewd ass waifu sticker sets. And there was a whole bunch of them. They kept showing up again and again and again. So every time my mom would go, she'd have the kids with her 
and she would scoop those up and quietly get them in the bag real quick <laughs> so that the kids wouldn't find them. And, uh, well, uh, I ended up with all of them. Just like a ridiculously stacked collection of stacked broads. Um, yeah, awful. I know, but now, now, we're painting up. We're painting up a thick ass busty dwarven um, pinup model. So we're about to spray sticky fluids all over our waifu laifu sticker as part of this video. And that's what we're doing. We're getting them thirsty clicks on this thirstiest of days. Okay, so first things first, um, let's do a nail check. My nails are pretty okay. They're all right, they're a little dirty. They're good enough to be on camera though. Oh no. <laughs> so it is so thick. Nathan donated a $5 super chat. Waifu laifu street 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 ah XSX yes that's where we live now Nathan thank you for the generous donation uh well appreciated and of course um your generous donations here uh, go right back into the channel uh, and will lead to more uh, pinup models and moments of um, embarrassingly weeb waifu laifu uh, scenes. <laughs> the Millennial Model Mayhem says, ah, nice one, Mom. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we're going to show our little last to the camera. We're going to set it aside. And we're also going to pull out our secret weapon right here. Um, and we're going to put it there. And I guess I'm going to get out my cutter and I'm going to slice this open. And we'll get our sticker out. I mean, not our sticker, our um, uh, sunny beaches. I just whacked the shit out of that camera. <laughs> I'm not used to it being there yet. It is very invasive. All right, so we got... Uh, I can't even pick this thing up. We got our secret weapon base upon which we're going to put our Dwarven Beauty. And it looks like... It looks like we may struggle with the placement of this here foamy beer stein. Um, so we might need a little modification. And I think we do need a little modification here. Uh, which means I need to put back on my respirator. Yep, main camera's lagging by. Yeah, it absolutely is. It absolutely is. And, um, is it, is it the second camera here that is, uh, making y'all notice how bad it is? <laughs> Cause it, it's been that, that way the whole time. All right. So we're going to get on our Dremel and we're going to reduce a little bit of this base. We just want this to sit a little better on the base. And I think that may have done it just enough. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Coolio. So we're going to take, um, I'm going to take one of these, take one of these, a little bit of Isopropyl alcohol. And we're going to pour this in there. And we're going to clean this thing up. And we're going to try to get painting as quick as possible and do a 
a satisfactory job on this small model as well as kind of making it a speed paint job tonight. So let's see if we can't blast through this. I may stream a little later than usual, uh, although I don't like to make a habit of, of streaming, you know, over three hours. Um, this kind of strikes me as one of the models that, like, if it's going to be four hours to finish, I could I could stand going a little bit. All my money goes, my money all goes to the groundwork at the legendary sea font. Yes. No, it's the main canvas. So yeah, exactly. It did indeed per pronounce waifu waifu rather well. It did indeed. <laughs> the camera knows. Um, I have this paper towel. We're going to put a little alcohol on it. We're going to clean up our workstation. And we're going to get to work. All right. So. This is really wet. And we're gonna do the, the whole uh, guest palette suit. Who you calling a sensitive weave? Um me? I I can't I can't claim to be a weave. Honestly. I you know, look, don't get me wrong, I love the aesthetics of anime and manga. I just I, I'm not super versed. Uh yeah. I don't know it. All right, here we go with the waifu waifu. And we show that to the camera. And then we take our, uh, I think this shit is clogged. I think this is clogged. Let's deal with the clog first. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. It's got a gnarly super glue booger in the tip of it. But let's get into it. We're gonna take our uh, take our Bob Smith Industries Max Secure Sanar Acrylic. And we're going to Oh uh, yes. And we're doing that shot right there. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> it's so thick. It's so thick. Iron Elemental donated a ten dollars and seventy-seven cents super chat. Distractions are the power of CFM. Distractions lead to delays. Delays lead to thinking. Thinking leads to more content ideas. You're right. Also, thank you for the super generous donation. Y'all are, are really laying it on thick tonight, but not quite as thick as the sticky goop that I'm picking up right off the face of our uh, waifu waifu cat girl here. All right. Oh, it's dripping. All right. So we got our nice and perched. We're going to get out our BSI Insta set. And we're going to dap a little dew on this model. Make sure it's nice and cured and set and ready. All right, excellent. Ah, I got super glue on my finger. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this for the shot. <laughs> Fucking A, what happened to this channel? What happened to us? Okay, that's enough of that. Alright, so we got our, our lady ready. Uh... I should probably clean up the excess on this base, but we can jump right into spraying it. 
and then from there we can go right into uh, doing our uh, painting. Kotaki's 241 says, I've played some JRPGs, watched the entry-level anime, and read Death Note. Deeper into weeb shit than most, but I'm not really a weeb. Yeah, it's kind of... Such a negative term. And that's really unfortunate. You should be able... You should be able, in the modern world we live in, to enjoy shit like this. You should be able to enjoy this without any stigmatization, without any hatred. This is okay. Even if you're not that far into it. Even if you just like, you know, your typical anime stuff. Um, yeah, it's okay. We shouldn't hate on each other for enjoying the occasional cartoon that just happens to be filled with cat girls and uh you know stuff like that um all right let's shut down this second angle for a moment just for a moment and we're gonna get back out our we're gonna get our water we're gonna get our spray out pot I pick up all these hairs because I shed like crazy. You are the one driving this bus. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's true. I guess it's true I'm driving the bus. Man, don't y'all feel uh, like you're in danger? <laughs> oh no, I, so I said I cleaned this. I wonder how clean it is. It looks pretty gnarly. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty gnarly. Um, I thought I cleaned it out. I guess I did. It looks like... It looks like there's a little bit of gunk in there still. So we're gonna blast some acetone through it really quick. My Battletech faction is the Draconis Combine, so maybe I am a weeb after all. Nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Someone's got to play the bad guys. <laughs> cool. Admittedly, my thoughts of Draconis Combine as the bad guys stem from... Um, stem entirely from playing the, the old DOS game... Uh, the Crescent Hawks Inception and the Crescent Hawks Revenge where you played as Jason Youngblood of the Crescent Hawks who was like Katrina Steiner's boyfriend or something there are no good guys in Battletech yeah exactly you ain't wrong you ain't wrong at all all right, so I did clean this good enough to be used, it appears. So we should be able to jump right in and get this thing a-going. Why is this... Why is this not shutting up? Okay, let's get on some gloves. Let's get on some gloves. All factions are bad guys. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It is true. I guess, except for the Capellans. The Capellans are the good guy. <laughs> if you're okay with torture of your citizens. Okay. I think we'll bigger gloves next time, I think. Alright, so. We are going to be painting a light-colored model. Um... But I honestly think we could get away with some slap chop on it, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to slap chop this up some. So... We're 
we're going to pull back out the camera. We're going to set pro video. We're going to start recording. We're going to pull this out. We're going to show our gray to the camera. We're going to pour in some gray primer. And we're going to start with gray primer. We're going to prime it gray. And then we're going to dry brush it white. And it should look great. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this! Get our, our last sprayed down in gray. I think that we might even want to hit it with some other colors from below, maybe, like we did with Titania. I like this track a lot. I can't tell what it is. Except Comstar, pay your bills. Uh, yeah, Comstar, Comstar might be the bad guy. Actually, if anything, Comstar was completely okay with the clans taking everything over until it was discovered that they were gunning for Terra. So Comstar may have been uh, complicit in the ruination of everyone's way of life. In fact, I'd say... <laughs> Maybe Comstar are the only true bad guys. Okay. Alright, so... I think we've got a satisfactory coat on it. And that's all we need. Let's spray out this airbrush real quick. We drags might treat our laborers like slaves, but at least we have the best settings and all this focus on us yet. Space Tech Cultist. Um... Wasn't the whole, like, Division and the Blakis thing... Wasn't that technically a Steiner's fault? Like, someone he appointed as the, um... Oh, what's the... What's the, like... The high up called? I can't remember. Presenter? Like, the head presenter or whatever? I think the cat girls are probably the good guys? Uh... No. No, they're, they're outworld, uh... Outworld scum. It didn't adhere to the ways of the inner sphere. All right, so we got that. Let's clean it us out. All right. Blast some water through this real quick. And we can get into actually rolling. How far in are we? Good lord, we're already 35 minutes into the stream! Yep, yep, yep. Anastasia's Fox, yeah, exactly. It's not even his name. You got a fake name. Look, nobody with a fake name is ever up to any good. All right. <laughs> okay, so we've got our airbrush set aside. Let's get these under control and move away our spray booth. All right. <laughs> 
no clutter tonight. Get this back off. Don't need this no more. Okay, let's see what we can't do here. So, she feels cured enough to work with. So I'm okay with that. And I think what we'll do is we'll zoom in a little bit, about like that. She might be small enough that we need to just zoom it in all the way. Oh my God, I just laid my arm in this sticky ass waifu laifu. I'm covered in sticky goop now. The guy fogged is a goddamn stunner. Yeah, exactly. The cat girls is in the body modded whores on Canopus. Yeah, exactly. Yep, he put a hurt on the clans and Blake has got mad. No, no there was more there's more to it than that. He like um uh he trusted in someone uh that he appointed. Um and the rest of Comstar like disagreed with it and that directly led to the schism between Comstar and the Blakists. Just saying Wobbies are not Comstar. They're not Comstar. They might look like Comstar, they're not Comstar. All right, so um this could use a little bit of rehydration. So let's get to that. A uh, hot tip for y'all. If you ain't got one of these um, tattoo style hydration bottles here, big recommend. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff to have in your collection. All right. So let's actually try out a little bit of our brand new Vallejo model color white. 70.951 white. Um, get palette cam set up. Get our palette cam set up. Desk cam. Open this. Whoa, what's going on here? Something wrong with it. I may have messed up something. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mess with it. I think. Damn, what what has gone wrong here? Wayne's view, properties, configure video, camera control. Yeah, it, it's like, it's just like super blowed out for some reason. Yeah, it ain't working. Well, it stopped working. It stopped working, y'all, it stopped working technical difficulties and I, I don't think I can re get it working without like just restarting the computer what's a good color for cobalt skin working on that little cobalt wizard model now I'm personally fond of red cobalts as per the um, the third edition um, artwork but blue would be good green yellows um, just lizardy colors hell you could probably even get away with like a tan i think um you might want to choose it based on uh providing some contrast to the homie he's hanging out with or something okay so we're gonna start our shot right here with the the lass we're gonna put it out of the way we're going to show our white to the camera. We're going to shake it up. We're going to pull in Oni Lamb. We're going to get out Oni Lamb. And we're going to jam our paint tip right into it. Nathan says, we all read that part of the book. He totally changed the narrative and the Wobby Zealots were unhappy with the new one. Yeah, exactly. They drank the Kool-Aid. They sure did. 
Another Nate says, at Technor, anything lose it? Yeah, exactly. It was unflavor aid. Yeah, exactly. Zoom and enhance. Oh, zoom? Hold on, I can make it happen. How do we do this? We take this here. Um, we stop recording because I don't need to record this shenanigans. This is just for the stream. And then we zoom in. Zoom all the way in. Zoom all the way in. <laughs> I'm tempted to stick this on Oni Lamb just forever now, but I'm not going to. It's too much. Got to be suggestive, not on the nosy with it. All right, let's bring this back out. Okay, so we got our, uh, we'll take our palette here. We're going to blast some, you know what? We're going to put a new sheet on this. I know this one is hardly used, but we're going to put a new one on there. New project, new, new sheet. That's just how it is. Um, at this point, I guess I'm technically a professional uh, miniature painter, so... Um, it's time to start acting like it. Perfection. Please, no lol. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too on the nose, right? Little too much. All right, we want a fresh sheet of our hydro pack uh, thing. And we can hold on to that down there for now. Put on a new sheet. And this is going to want to kink up, and we just want to, you know, fight that for a second. There we go. Get it nice and wet. We're take our white, and we're about to just blobby a big old gloppy of that down. Blobby, gloppy. Yeah. All right. Now we want our nice soft makeup sponge Oni lab doesn't need that kind of help yeah exactly yeah no it's too it's too on the nose I think I was tempted because it's also pink uh, but that's unnecessary all right so I want to remove a bunch of this texture or a bunch of this paint to where we have a nice bit of that going on there and we're going to take our runa here and we're about to just start zapping it with this here i don't know why i swapped hands there like a dummy but um i'm gonna do kind of a light all over kind of mostly top down dry brush of the white And we're gonna hit this whole damn thing. Now I know um, a lot of the slap chop methods would have you start black and work your way up to it. I can't be asked to do that much layering. This is all, I wanna work with a light base tone anyways. We're just gonna start with um, gray to white. I think that will be more than enough to get the, the look we're after here. You could take this further. Start with the with a black base coat and then like really heavily dry brush it in gray and then come down with white even lighter. But what this is going to do is going to give us some nice deep shadows. And then the uh, the raised areas, dry brushed in, be nice and bright white. Be good foundation for our translucent colors going on. Gray is fine. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
And heck, you could um, really, if you took more time and care than what I'm doing here, you could totally paint a model entirely with targeted dry brushing and it would look just fine. In fact, I think I kind of need a smaller brush here to, to get in some of the details. But you know what? No, it makes sense. She has such an ample bosom, it would be cast in shadow on her, those forearms. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. All right. So we got some foundational color down. We're going to build over top of that. And, uh, yeah, let's see what, um, what we can do here. What's our first color on the agenda this evening? I think we want to start with, um, I think we're going to use this flat flesh, but I kind of want a, kind of want a darker tone in there, like what I do law. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'll probably do an episode eventually about, um, working up with just dry brush I think uh, in the wrong application it could leave it looking dusty but um, it's a good way to build up color and, and leave the uh, the dark tones in the in the crevices I think we're going to start with yeah I think we're about to just use this flat flesh straight up so here we go. We're going to show our model color to the camera and get back out Oni Lab. God, that is shaking so intently. Intensely. All right. Let's bust into some flat flesh. And we're going to thin that down, I think, about, oh, 50-50. Maybe not quite 50-50, but we want it pretty pretty thin down. So what, maybe three drops of water? Let's see how that looks. And I want my four round. From the few slap chops I've seen on YouTube, the black in the recesses meets the color of the contrast paint or whatever goes thrown over the model for. Yeah, no, that's that's accurate. Um, heck, I, I dare say that the contrast colors just, they, they don't even really work uh, over, they're not gonna work worth a damn over black. Um, it kind of puts it into a, uh, Grim dark territory, I feel. I think we're gonna try out a little bit of express color medium tonight. So I'll show this to the camera. We're going to, I don't know, maybe two drops in there. Bink bonk. I'm gonna make this a very mildly contrasty tone. Uh, um, the Express Color Medium is a little more gel-like. I'm not super fond of it, but I think it'll give us the, the thin properties that we're after here. All right, so as always, we want to work with deepest, uh, deepest color outwards. So I guess in that regard, we should probably paint the barrel first. I'm doing things a little out of order here. All right. Also, that express medium tastes horrific. It's so bad. I saw a few that started with gray and tan that looked nice. The black does seem to make them look board gamey. Yeah, you, you'll get a lot of really intense um, contrast on them. I think we're going to use a little bit of... Um, I think 
We're going to just use some straight up snake bite leather here for the barrel. I'm going to use the snake bite leather on the barrel. Uh, and I'm going to put a little bit on the pallet. Mmm, I'm liking the chill vibes on this track. Let's do a two round. And we're just going to start putting on our contrast color. Straight up snake bite leather contrast paint right over top of that that gray base tone it's real dark so uh, even though we started with gray it should work pretty nicely I hope y'all can see that worth a damn I'll try zooming in actually I wonder if we if we get in on it if you can see a little better I'll do the full screen preview there we go This model really has one hell of a dumper. Absolutely ridiculous. Offensive, even. But sometimes that offensive model just hits right. You know what I mean? It's just what you need in the moment, especially on this... Um, stupid sexiest of days that paint is too thin um what do you mean the paint's too thin this is contrast paint uh and if anything uh when you're working with like a zenithal coat or a slap chop foundation if you're not using a super thin translucent paint you're wasting your time with the with the zenithal you might as well if you're if you're painting opaque colors you might as well just paint the whole thing or prime the thing a solid color that variation is just going to get lost all right get our snake bite leather barrel going on and yeah I'm already seeing some some nice detail I think the gray to white was the right choice here I could have this on the painting handle as well now that I'm thinking about it I probably should have it on the painting handle but uh, you know I gotta get my fingers all over it naturally naturally put a little brown in that butt crack it's not in the butt crack it's the shadow underneath the butt crack and now we're painting this brown now for this area in particular, we want to get in there on the deepest sections and just try to try to make it work. I hope y'all can see that decently on camera. It looks like it's focusing half-ass all right. Uh, after the fiasco of the last episode, um, we're not going to worry about if we get a little bit of color on the metal bits because we're just going to paint those solid metal here in a little while uh, but we are going to be kind of careful about on the skin all right oops i just got a whole bunch on that foot let's real quick lick that lick that brush and get it off that heel there you need to think it and add some quick rate. Yeah, exactly. 
Uh, Kotaki says, I can't see shit, but I'm on my phone and drunk, so take someone else's word. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's, it's tiny details. Um, I... Like I said, I printed this model out once before, and I printed her in really big scale, like two and a half times this size. And um, I kind of half regret that I didn't do it that size this time, but because she's so small, might even be able to paint this model fully tonight in this stream, which would be really awesome to actually get some shit done for once. Even though this is a project that is extra work that nobody asked for. Um, yeah. M many, many irons in the fire. All that good stuff. Oop, got a little on the foot again. There we go. Let's remove that. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we're at a good place now. We can go back to working with our flesh tone. I think we actually need a smaller, tighter brush for this. How about you? Yeah. Cat litter is a good option, yes. Thicken and texturize. Quick Creek 2 Dark Sawdust. Man, this model is thick. Yes, it is. Also, welcome, Tyler. I need to do this. Now. I got triggered because you said cat. Yeah, she's dummy thick. She dummy thick. All right, let's slap her on our handle. Make for a little easier handling. Also, I'm going to try to get her in the shot there. Bum, 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 bum. Do, do, da, da, da. We're going to stir back up our fleshy tone. And now we're going to work in a base tone of this flat flesh color. And we're just going to paint it all over. Everywhere that skin. Just coat it our foundational color we're gonna hit it with a wash after this so it's fine we just want two thin coats here and it is especially thin due to thinning it with water plus the um, the medium the express paint medium You know, I also have a uh, a uh, draconian made from the same producer that is in a very suggestive pose. Uh, and they did right by her. They didn't give her boobies. You know, because she's a lizard. I don't even know if this producer sells that model anymore. At least I didn't see it on the My Mini Factory. Alright. Let's work on getting some good coverage here. I'm trying to be careful, just keep it inside the lines. If you aren't also having fun, can you really say we have fun here? Yeah. Feels good to just get something done. I've finished a 20 man Imperial Guard blob I've had for months. Felt good to see it. To Hell yes. I do love a good Imperial Guard regiment. Um, something super satisfying about that, that uh, aesthetic. I could really stand to see like a... I'd love to do um, Steel Legion. I think they'd look really fun. 
not the death core Krieg that everybody has now, but the good old classic lads from Armageddon. So, just gonna work around all this flesh tone. Get it good and base coated. I think by the time we get around to the top, to her face, the lower extremity should be nice and dry. I think we're gonna maybe work a little bit of other colors into it just a little at a time I want to get some red in there some red on her knees on her toes elbows etc for now we're just gonna keep working around the model Keep working around. Don't have to worry too much about the clothing or spilling over because we're going to paint over that as well. We just, we want all this skin coated with two thin coats of our flat flesh tone. I may have made it a little too thin, too runny. It's, it's going into the crevices a little bit with some capillary action here. Nightbot reminded folks to come on over to the Country Fried Discord and share your work, providing a link in the live chat replay if you're catching this via the algorithm. If you're not already a member of the Country Fried Minis Discord, consider coming on over, posting the fun stuff you're working on. Would love to see what projects you have going on in your own hobby corner. And a reminder, anytime we're doing uh, the workflow live streams, that is not the painting streams, but the editing streams, and you post your hobby exploits during the live streams, we'll bring them up and chat about them in the moment in the stream. So if you want to get some uh, critiques and praise in the moment here live on the streams, just join up over at the uh, Country Fried Minis Discord. Show us what you're working on. Show me what you got. Furthermore, pretty much any night we do these streams, we hang out uh, and chat in the voice channels. Get a little more direct interaction with folks. So we've been having a blast lately. Different folks streaming different games and Talking about all kinds of nonsense. Come on through. All right, so we don't have to be too too precise with our base coat here because we're going to clean it up with the next next layers. Uh, we just want to get this good foundation of flat flesh, flat flesh. All right, she's got like a little dwarven symbol thing going on on her leg there. All right, I think I can work with this. Um, and what I want to do, I think. take some of these colors that I figured I'd never use and work them into the project here. I use War Games Atlantic's Bulldogs, vaguely sci-fi British troopers, pretty good stuff. Bulldogs. 3D print files? I have a whole bunch of, um, I have a whole bunch of, um, like, dog-themed Imperial Guardsmen. Uh, STLs 
That look awesome. Don't forget to remove your supports just saying long. Wait, what? Did I leave some supports? Did I leave some supports? Huh? You got me paranoid. Am I fucking up here live on stream? I mean, that's a given. No, I didn't leave no supports on there. All right, so. Once more, we're gonna pull out a color. It's gonna be our flat red. We're gonna enlist Oni Lab. drops of water in it we're gonna take our red here try to control this real quick before it pollutes all of our fleshy tone and it's just gonna it's gonna take over the whole thing I don't know why it's seeping into it so hard like that it's probably that flat red is killing my chub <laughs> no we want that flat red right here Excuse me. We want this this kind of tone here. Somewhere in between the two. Alright, and then we got this um, too small. Look at this 3 0, which is the same as a triple zero. I seen you suck that brush gush. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. So, we want this like reddish tone. And we're going to work some onto areas that are going to be. A little more flesh with blood. Um, so knees, elbows, fingers, face, etc. Could be really rough right now. Some on the ankle, on the heel, and the toes. Locking this in. Put it on the bottoms of her feet as well, I think. Welcome, welcome, Kotaki's 241. I saw that you just joined the Discord. Love to see what you're working on. We have a pretty good and happy community over here. It's okay if this stuff looks a little rough right now. We just want to get we just want to get our reddish fleshish fleshish colors on. We're blocking it out. Just want to get some on there. We're setting a foundation for for some work here in a moment. It's okay if this is in the ugly phase. It's okay if this just looks chunky and and um, not really what we're after at the moment.
face it's a little more red nose for sure blocking it in very roughly fingers Alright, so we got these um, fun foundational colors. I think right on the top of her chest as well. Alright, we're going to get back out our flat flesh. Right here. Because this red took it all over. And um, we're going to put out a new little dollop of that color. And we're going to thin it down nice and thin. About the same. Two drops. Bink bonk. put in a little bit of our express color medium see this sucks here because this is why I wanted the um, wanted the palette cam for this and it immediately failed so we can't get it going uh, this can't no, it's not going to work unless I just unplug and plug it back in. Which really sucks. Alright, I'm going to pass that soon. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Kotaki's 241. Never any pressure to hang out beyond your tap out point. Alright. Going back to our flat flesh, and we're going to do a second coat of this color on everything that we did before, and we're going to feather it into our areas that have the red. We can even take a little bit right here back and forth between the two colors. Get a nice blend between them. Just blend it. Keep it real rough. It's fine. Doesn't need to be perfect. We just want a little bit more of that blushy blood color on these sections that have thinner skin. It's going to be a little more uh, apparent that there's blood underneath the surface. Mix a little bit of a pink in. Just back and forth. Fast is fine. We're going for fast. Kind of do a little bit of like wet blending on it. I hope that's coming across for y'all, at least a little bit. Dipping back into the pink stuff, and then back into the flesh stuff. A little bit back and forth. Kind of jabbing at it with our 3-0 brush.
Where are we sitting at time wise? Where are we sitting at time wise? There are 17 minutes. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Film a little more in a moment, but for now, let's let's get the uh, let's get these base coats down. Push the red into the flesh. Push it up with it. Work back and forth until it's got a bit of a blend. Preserving some of that pinkish tone. Try not to go into glazing territory too much here, honestly. Just want to keep it moving. A little back and forth, a little wet blending action. Till it looks right, till it feels right. We're gonna hit it with a wash after this anyways. Now what's really important here though is the back. We need nice solid coverage there because we're gonna tone up those muscles with the flesh wash. Right, we're flying right along. Flying along, getting it done. I think we'll get this model completed tonight. We got to. Orcish Biology question, yellow skin with blue blood or blue skin with yellow blood? Uh, yellow skin with blue blood. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Moments like this is a good reminder as to why you want the paint so thin. We are just layering more and more paint, so it needs to be good and thin. It needs to be good and thin. So when we wet blend it on, it doesn't get too thick doesn't build up any visible and noticeable texture. Building up the collarbones, trying to keep a little of that red peachish tone on her chest. Belly is just getting straight flesh tone. We'll push that a little more into shadow. Same on the arm, the other arm. Kind of putting an all over coating of the flat flesh. Real thin like. 
and then we'll pick up a little bit of the pinky tone and we'll put it directly on the elbow. And then we'll take our pinky tone and our flat flesh and we'll mix it together and then use it to start blending it outwards. And because it's wet blending, we'll get a nice gradient going on. Now, face is a little tricky. We'll take this pink, this pink and flesh tone mixture, and we're gonna start painting that on. Trying to leave some of that flesh red in certain spots. Namely, dude, I think that's enough. I think I have a really ugly support right there. I see a really ugly support. Let's see if I can't remove it without fucking up the model too bad. Might have made a scar. I have arrived. Finally, I stood up and strapped and kept going after you left. Hell yeah. Getting some progress. The tasks they call. Yeah, it was really fun. Really fun stream. I, I definitely could see doing some more, doing some more tasks in the old Tarkov. Had a few unfortunate deaths tonight, but real fun blast. Um, those of y'all out there catching this via the algorithm, or if you don't know, uh, Sod Nine has been streaming um, Escape from Tarkov, going for 365 days of Tarkov hitting it up every day um, and watching those streams has kind of gotten me into Tarkov and we just did a duo stream this evening so if that's something that strikes your fancy sounds like something you'd like to see make sure you head on over and check out his channel um, you want to catch a little bit of uh, the Tarkov the escape from Tarkov on a daily basis We're gonna take this same like flushed red color, just the straight flat red, and we're gonna paint her lips. Try not to screw up too bad what we're doing. should be filming this, but I'm not. to develop some shadow tones here. We've got our nice little gradient between uh, flesh color and the red, the flushed skin. We need to do this without getting it all over the barrel. Alright, I 
think I think that's a good foundational tone on the skin for the most part. Let me put some on this shoulder again so we have a second coat there. And then on the small of the back as well. I was just critiquing a, uh, a an acquaintance's model recently, and I was noticing his paint was too thin, and I'm getting the same effect on this that I was critiquing on that, where the paint is kind of seeping into the crevices and acting like a like a opaque wash, which we really don't want. Okay, so just got a nice foundational skin tone here. Um, what I think we want to do now is kind of let that dry and while it dries we're going to pick out a nice brown tone and start painting in her bikini and I think that's the way to go here so nice is here kind of got you in a car hey I put your name in the title day I assume that'll help algorithm for you most likely yeah 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 um, I feel like my highlights barely showed in my picture at all. The pictures get the color so wrong. Yeah, it's it's very hard to, to get good photos of minis. Um, you really need like a little photo booth, honestly, to take decent pictures, I think. Um, anyhow. Or Aka. do another round of flat colors. I'm going to bust out our flat brown. And once again, that means we need Oni Labs help to shake it up. And we'll put our brown in our pink and make it shake. Okay. So same deal. A little bit of color, a little bit of water, I don't know, maybe a drop, probably enough for that. We want this a little more controllable. Let's take our four round and stir it up. Yeah, one drop was definitely enough there. This flat brown's good. It's not quite Mordenfang brown, but it's going to work. And we'll pull out our 3-0 round. And we'll get back to it. And we want to... I want to just be very targeted in our paint application. And here we want to maintain some brush control and not spill this brown over onto the skin. Like at all. The more we can avoid having to go back in and fix what we've already done, the more likely it'll be that we'll actually finish this model. Access granted. Well, man. few spots, a few transitions we want to try and preserve because she's got her arms pressed up so hard against the sides of her, sides of her breasts, it's creating a, a very sharp indent there, but it's kind of a, it's a bit of an undercut for us to try to avoid hitting. Right here, just a little bit of patience and some tight brush control will 
go a long way. Keep things from getting too messy. And I think I'm fairly uh, pleased with this. get some good coverage though all right good enough she's got a bangle that I think will do in a metallic color the same color as her helmet she does have this thong thing going on here that we want to also get brown Very tight brush control. And again, this is with a 3-0, so it's uh, the same as a triple zero. This is uh, Princeton Select. So it's still our favorite um, Princeton Art and Brush Co. brushes, but they're like a step above the default ones I use. They're still a value pack, but of their um, step above models. Also, don't let Discord take pictures for you with the convenient button is trap. <laughs> Camera phones always feel like they're color correcting. A lot of the blues I look pretty much the same. Yeah, exactly. Have I explained the crazy rarity of the door key for streets? No, not at all. Not at all. I don't know the first thing about streets. I know I have a task I gotta do on streets. And it's uh, a little intimidating to be honest. Okay, let's stop this recording for a second and move the camera out of the way so I can get in a little closer focus on what we're doing here. I hope y'all can see that decently. I'm realizing it's small details. And I am moving it around a lot. Tracing little bits of brown on the model. Alright. Have our bottoms painted up top base coated and the strap running along the back all right it's like a maybe one in 20 raid key to be in the raid one one use if you die it disappears if you leave with it, it disappears if you die people can't leave from you interesting interesting so you need to find this thing in the raid go to the location to use it and then uh, get the good stuff a real tight squeeze here but you can actually see a little bit of her um, bikini bottoms right in her crotch so we're gonna very carefully thread the needle in there without staining her belly y'all can see that you probably can't I'm probably just just my hand in the way I 
and you know make sure to fuck up and put a big old stain on her belly all right so we got the brown foundation on her outfit she's also got this um this like i don't know what you call this thing a garter going on i think we also want to do the strap there in brown it's got like a little dwarven rune symbol we'll do that in metallic here in a moment and this is going to be a difficult one to to see let alone get in there and paint I'm being very careful to pick an angle that works. There we go. Alright, decent enough. I think our next step now is going to be to... Paint the ear I missed. Give her rosy cheeks. I like the base on this model a lot. Yeah, the base was from... Um, I think I threw it away already. It was from Secret Weapon. And I think Secret Weapon is uh, out of business, actually. Unfortunately. I got this, this base at an at Infinity event. And it's like a weird size that nobody would ever use. The, of course, the the barrel and the hammer and stuff was already part of her sculpt. I just realized I need to do a little bit more browning right here. All right. I think we're about to take uh, an shit we're just using these basic colors from the Vallejo basics set and I'm having fun with it so let's keep on with that we're going to use a little bit of our clear orange and once again that means we need Oni Labs help Nightbot coming in with a new factoid claiming that Costa Coffee employs Gennaro Pelliccia as a coffee taster who has had his tongue insured for 10 million pounds since 2009. $10 million, $10 million, $10 million pound tongue. My tongue's worth like at least um, three fifty. All right, so I think this clear orange is gonna have really bad coverage. I can already see, but we're gonna use it anyways. We want to get our lass um, with orange hair, and. That's just because uh, she's a she's a dwarf. She's a dwarf. She needs orange hair. That classic uh, GW conditioning from the Troll Slayers. And we're going to hit this with brown wash, of course, to give it some depth. But for now, we just want it on a nice base coat on it. All up and down it. <laughs> this 
Nine says, I bit my tongue in my sleep the other day pretty hard. It's probably not worth a lot. Man, ain't that funny to think that, like, how easy it is to bite your cheeks and your tongue and stuff while you're, like, not even eating. It was in your sleep. It just happened. You just, like, injured yourself operating your body. Oh, no. I rubbed orange on my thumb. How are we doing time-wise? Where are we sitting at? Now we're in 43 minutes. We're doing okay. Uh, are we going to get done? I hope so. I'm going to try. I think we can. I think we can. I think we can. I think we can. Get this orange where I done fucked up. Off the model. I like this farty scent we got going on with this track. boost the energy levels here. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm feeling pretty tired. Alright. So, we have a little bit more orange that needs to go up into the helmet here. There we go. And we will boost some uh, differentiation between the hair and the body and whatnot with a little bit of a brown wash. But it's going to dry out first. Okay, there we go. We've got some base coats going on. It's like waking up and taking two steps and boom, two weeks of lower back pain. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. I, I, look, I'm even reflexively rubbing my lower back at this point. Another Nate says I'd take like 10 bucks for my tongue. It's never been painted. I don't believe that one bit, Nate. Yeah. It's true. I never once had liquid paint in my mouth. My eyeballs now. Imagine like... Oh, my God. So I'm kind of picturing this uh, uh, a, another country fried interlude scene where it's basically pepper spray. You got pepper spray, but instead of pepper spray, it's just paint. <laughs> You're just spraying people in the face with acrylic paint. Uh, yeah, I could see that. I can see it. Okay, so um, we need to let that hair dry. Um, I see a section on the arm here that needs a little bit more blending. So let's work on that real quick, like right here on the back of the arm a little bit too too blocky for the red color all right so i think what we need to do now is mix in a little bit of a darker shade color for the for the um skin we need a shadow tone. And I think we could get away with... Excuse me. We could get away with... A 
We just did heavy skin tone, so I think we can use a little bit of Parasite Brown. That's what we're going to do. Get back out the camera here. Ah! Sounds like... <laughs> Sounds like your makeup skills aren't up to par. Oh, plenty of makeup that's across these lips. Yeah, from smooching all the ladies. High school theater and clowning ate at least an ounce of grease paint a year. Yuck. I mean, who am I to say yuck to that? I, I eat so much paint. I've probably eaten an ounce of paint here on the stream this year. Surely. Alright, so we're going to bust out our WizKids Parasite Brown. We're going to give it a good shake. Bust it out. Put a little bit out right here. Zip. That's already really thin, so I don't think we need to muck with it too much. I'm going to take our Parasite Brown and our flat skin. And we're going to make like a... That is just straight... What is wrong with this color? It's like it's not... None of my ladies ever wore cosmetics, oddly enough. I wore more makeup than then, at least while we were together. <laughs> paint is very liquidy. I think maybe I need to let it run for a while in Oni Lab. Let it run for a while. This stuff is just coming out watery. that'll do the trick. I need this stuff to come out like paint. Uh, there we go. That's, I mean, it's better. It's an improvement. Okay. So, we're gonna run our three round again. We're gonna take a little bit of our Parasite Brown, a little bit of our flesh, our flat flesh, Flat skin, is that what it's called? Flat flesh. Make a nice 50-50. 50-50 of the two colors. And we're gonna take that color. And we're gonna start working it in the areas that should be darker. seams kind of where it makes sense sides of her breasts, small of the back, right up against 
against the hair, underneath the buttocks, into the butt crack itself. You know, all them good spots. You just want to get a little bit of shading with it. Blending in some shadow tones. on the inner sections of these thighs, right by the knees, all them good spots. And then we'll take a little bit more of this color, the darkest version, and we'll work it in where it should be the darkest. feathering out where we can get away with it. I think looks all right to me. And I think now we want to do a flesh wash. If I can find it. Is that it? That's heavy sienna. That's flesh wash. If mustache wax is considered makeup in your dictionary. Yeah, yes. Stir ball. Yeah, I probably should have used some stir ball. Another Nate says, all right, time for zany color experimentation. Hell yeah. I love to hear it. Okay, so let's actually take a moment and let that dry. And we're going to move on to a little bit of um, Vallejo Metal Color. So we're going to show our uh, jet exhaust to the camera. Give it a good shake up. Put uh, two drops down, which is more than enough to work with. We're gonna get our Vallejo One detail brush. And we're gonna start putting on some metallic on these bands here. And this stuff just has remarkably good coverage. You have to stir it up uh, more often than would be ideal but that's fine <laughs> now the thing is this is a dwarf so she's gonna have to have gold and I don't have a great gold color I really like this song a lot. It's a good one. One of my favorites, I think. Oh, ooh, I'm about to steal a page from my daughter's watercolor book. Fun. Sometimes um, the illustrations and stuff in them uh, in the 
kids books are great. want to get these bands nice and metallic All right. Um, you know, y'all, I am feeling distinctly low energy. I'm kind of fading. So, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push another half hour, but I am I'm fading. I'm very tired. I kind of want to. Um, kind of want to make a sandwich and kick back. Go to sleep. Straight up. I've got a busy day ahead of me tomorrow. Regardless of where we get on this model tonight. Uh, I will be finishing this one up and sharing it as a 10 minute mini. Should be super fun. I'm not going to hang it up just yet. I'm very nearly there though. It's taken me, um, taken me a little bit of willpower in this moment to not just in the stream right now kind of want to but I think we get a little further in I think we get a little further in just a little bit further all right we got these bands silvered out just about we need to do this one at the bottom Um, I think we want this valve on the front to also be silver, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'm realizing I needed to paint the, uh, the little stein as well in some kind of brown, so I need to do that here momentarily. Um, but it's looking pretty decent. Our barrel bands are looking okay. Let's get her helmet all silvered out. We could do this and then the horns, maybe? No, we need to pick a spot that is not immediately adjacent to the silver that's drying. I think we could do the, the beer stein real quick. Fuck. Ah, Jesus. My tiredness is affecting my precision. 
don't know if y'all noticed me just fumble that brush trying to lick it, but I couldn't even get it in my mouth. All right. Yeah, let's take a second and paint up the stein. I think that's where we're at. And that should probably go a different brown tone. Nah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll use Pallid Bone. This is a Blick Art blank book my aunt gave her. She's a professional artist. Her cast offs are high quality and I'm willing to pay for it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Those are, those are good gets. All right, so we're going to take our Pallid Bone now. Actually, I need to record that. Show it to the camera. Pallid Bone. Put a little bit of Pallid Bone out. And I'm going to do this Stein in what will hopefully render as a lighter brown than the barrel. Similar but different. Looks decent. I think that the um, the GW contrast paints are working way better over the gray, uh, which is something that really stands out against this speed paint right here. All right. Yeah, it looks all right. we need to we can work on a little bit of gold now I guess let's get out our um this is the only gold I got I got some GW gold up here I got some G-dubs some G-dubs paint yeah let's do some auric armor gold Orc Armor Gold is really separated out. Yep. It's completely separated out, even. Let's give it a good stirry do. And given the state of the separation, I think we're going to toss a stir ball into it. Good stir around. And then once it's like decently good and stirred up, we can run it through Oni Lab. So thick the ball ain't even moving in it. Generally not a fan of the GW um, metallics, honestly. They do look pretty. And this is a proper gold too. It's a nice yellowy color. Let's see what this is looking like now. Get a little bit out. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can work with that. A little bit of this out. A little bit there. Now this stuff has piss poor coverage because uh, it is a metallic paint. Uh, more, it's a GW metallic paint. Time for me to paint along. Thanks, Bob Ross. Got you in the big speaker by my paint booth. How you gonna? How you gonna put that kind of pressure on me, man? 
I'm gonna take our auric armor gold. I'm gonna put it on some fun little details that we want in gold. So I think her little bangle thing should definitely be auric armor gold. And uh, this is one of those colors that like, I always find that gold paints work best if you just apply them full strength, not worrying about any kind of thinning. Take your layer paint and put this stuff on it and make sure you get a nice smooth cut of it so you don't build up too much. But because the coverage is so shit, um, you want to hit this sweet spot of like enough of it on there that it's actually going to get some coverage without um, without clotting up the detail too much. Just it's always so disappointing. All right, she's got some earrings that I want in gold. Other side doesn't you can't really see it there. And then I think kinda think we're just gonna do this whole handle in gold, honestly. Just man the coverage sucks so bad sucks so bad. This color sucks. It's pretty, but damn, it don't cover. Let's get a bigger brush here. I'll use this one, I think. Should do the trick. Oh, it's so thick, it's just like clotting it up now. Paint sucks. GW Gold, you are garbage. So bad, so very bad. Do the little symbol on her leg in gold. Make sure to get a fresh, clean brush to pick up where we spilled some. And then it's instantly dry, so it'll make a nice stain for later. Uh, there was another spot I wanted to go gold. Ah, yes. It is the little thingamabob in her hair. Alright. Okay. Morning, people. Howdy, Tobias. It is morning for you. It is about bedtime for me. Shit. I'm so tired. I am so very tired. What are we going to do for these horns? What are we going to do for these horns? I think what we're going to do now actually is going to take our flesh color here take our flesh color and mix a little white into it white is a very strong pigment I'm going to hit 
the skin with a little bit of highlighting. Ivory? No, we're using actual um, white this time. Oh, wait, ivory. I see. I conflated uh, my ivory paint with making the tusks into ivory. I actually have an, the ivory color I could use for that. All right, so we want to start working in this here uh, light color and feather it around. We're just going to focus this color on upper the uppermost portions of curves because there are no sharp edges on the organic shape of her body. And we're even going to mix a little pink in every now and then. We need a pink highlight color. That's a good one. Like the collarbones will get it. The nose is going to get that highlight color. Cheeks. The knee here. We'll get our pinky, pinky version. Feather it out. Do it here as well. Go back to our non pink version. only 5 10 in the morning. Ooh, found my plastic card since I quit looking. I think you're only met the morning person I know. Bye. And you know, I hate to do this to y'all, but I'm tired. I'm like really, really tired. I can't focus. Um,. I need to close my eyes and lie down. So, we are not going to finish this model tonight. Let me kind of give y'all an idea of what we're lacking. So, we've got these, uh, we've got our base tone. We've got the nice blended reds into her buttocks and her knees and elbows and nose and chest. This needs a flesh wash. Some more highlighting um, we need to build up some layers in the in the hair as well what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a little more work in this model um, over the next few days um, I might come back Friday and paint on this do another episode of working on her we're gonna turn this into a fun little 10 minute mini because really it's not gonna take all that much work more work I'm just I, I'm tired. I'm, I'm having trouble keeping my eyes open. Um, yeah, I want to take a moment to thank y'all for... for <laughs> I was going to say I'm digging this Bollywood sound that I saw the name of the track. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what was it? Hadar Habibi. Um, big thanks to y'all for showing up this evening and hanging out while I paint. Um, I... You know, I, I kind of dropped the ball on getting the oil episode ready. Uh, we're going to turn that into something else, something special sometime soon. Uh, we're going to get this model done. We're going to turn this into a 10-minute mini. Um, I was going to do uh, Leather Hide as the next 10-minute mini, but I have ordered another set of a different set of sculpts of armadillo man armadillo banditos 
from Curacao Mini, so we're going to make a fun little diorama with these, which will be a 10 minute mini, but um, I'm not going to paint that up right now. We're going to get this one out as a 10 minute mini and maybe start working on that video this coming week. Uh, I think I could get out a, a 10 minute mini in, in about a week's worth of editing. So more stuff coming out soon. Um, yeah, thank y'all for, for taking a moment to stop by and hang out while I paint on this Valentine's Day evening. Ho hope y'all are having a, a fun time in your own hobby corners, getting work done, whatever you're working on. Um, yeah, I, I trust that your hobby experience is going great. Um, yeah, I hate to walk out on y'all uh, this early in the stream, but I am fading. I need to pass out. I'm I'm just I'm super tired. I got I got stuff to make a sandwich and I'm gonna I'm gonna eat a sandwich and watch a video and go to sleep. So I'm not even gonna make it over to the Discord this evening, I don't think. Um But uh speaking of if any of y'all out there are catching this via the algorithm and aren't a member of the Country Fried Minis Discord, make sure to check it out. Uh, come on over and share your work. Uh, we definitely will talk about it sometime on stream. In any case, that, that's all I got for y'all this evening. I am pooped. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> so, uh, as always, I want y'all to remember to be happy while you're painting and also to know that your participation in these events makes me happy while I'm painting. Uh, I am, I've been Cameron on behalf of Country Fried Minis, presenting once again from the Bullshit Corner 2.0. I am your negligent host and I am done and tired. I, I gotta go to bed. So uh, lots of love y'all. Catch ya next time. See ya. Uh, bye bye.